at what simple rate per cent per annum would rupees 3650 become rupees 5256 in 4 years so first let us see what are the variables which are given to us the question is asking we have to calculate the rate at which 3650 which is the original amount will become 5256 in a period of 4 years right so the original amount what that we know is known as the principal this is the amount which is invested into the ultimate amount with that we know is basically known as the amount and the amount is a sum total of simple interest plus the principal we are told that the time taken by this money to change from 3650 to 5256 is 4 years the question is at what rate of interest should this money be invested so that it becomes 5256 after a period of 4 years right now if you notice carefully amount is equal to simple interest plus principal or you can write that 5256 which is the amount is equal to simple interest plus how much was the principal 3650 right or in other words we can just calculate the simple interest as 5256 which is the amount on the left hand side minus take this to the other side of the equation and it will change its sign 3650 right so you will get 1606 as the simple interest right now we know the principal we know the time we know the simple interest now if you recall the formula for simple interest was principal into rate into time divided by 100 in this case we know this value we know the principal we know the time the only thing need we need to find out is the rate so can we just switch switch this equation can we just put the rate of interest on the left hand side so if we calculate the rate of interest this will be equal to simple interest which is this we do a kind of cross multiplication into 100 divided by so p and t will go to the denominator here principal into time how much is the simple interest 1606 into 100 divided by principal how much is the principal 3650 into time time is 4 years right so we just cancel out this 4 with this this will give us 4 actually it will not be directly divisible by 4 so this will give us 2 this will give us 803 this 2 can knock off this to give us 50 the 0 can go off with this this 5 can actually go off with 73 and if you knock off this 803 with 73 you will notice that you get the answer as 11 so your rate of interest is equal to 11% which is the answer so basically whenever you know out of this equation which is the standard equation for simple interest you are given any three variable these might be given to you or you are able to find it out given or found then we can always find out the fourth variable